Okay, uh, this is part two of the uh, module five textbook project. Uh, we're starting off on page 14 in the textbook. Step number one says select the range A1 to NA2. Click the cell styles button. Title style. Title style is kind of hidden because you don't see the full word title, especially if you have the words minimized. So title style. Select cell A1 and change the font to 10, I mean to 20. And select range A1 to G1. A1 to G1. And you're going to merge and center. Select cell A2. And change the font size to 16. And this one also says to uh, change it to, let's say 16, and then merge and center. Whoops, I'm sorry. I didn't need to merge and center yet. I hadn't selected the cells. A1 to A2 to G2, and then merge and center. Step six, select the range A1 and A2. Click the fill color arrow, which is on the home tab font group. And we want to fill, fill color. And it wants us to use blue gray accent one. Blue gray accent one. If you don't see the colors here, it's because you didn't change it to the feathered theme in the first video. Uh, click the font color arrow and click tan accent 5 lighter. So we're going to go to font color and tan accent 5 lighter. Lighter 40. Lighter 40. Now we're on step one of formatting the column titles and the total row. So select the range B4 to G4. B4 to G4, and it wants us to align center. Line center. Control click A4 to add it to the selected range. Control A4, so that adds it to our selection. Use the cell styles button and a heading 3 style. Cell styles, heading three. Select the range A13 to G13. A13 to G13. And assign a total cell style. A total cell style. Clicked an empty cell to deselect the range. And now we're on the bottom of page 15, formatting with a floating dollar sign. So select the cell B5. And while holding down the control, select the non-adjacent cells D5, F5. D5, F5, B13, and D13. B13 and D13 and F13. Now right click any of those cells that are selected and it displays the shortcut and we're going to go to format cells and we're going to click the number tab. Well we have the number tab up here. Then we're going to click on the currency and then we're going to click the symbol dollar sign, dollar sign. And then we're going to click the red negative sign. So if it's negative, it's going to be red and in parentheses. And then we're going to click OK. And then we're going to deselect by clicking somewhere else. And you notice we have a dollar, a dollar three, a dollar seven. 36, 42, 29, and 4802, just like in figure 5-20.
Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at formatting codes of every single way the text is in the textbook. It's going to, um, each each number has a specific code. And of course, they're all pre-coded for us for dollar signs and percents and things like that. But we're going to learn how to actually format it. So that's what it shows on page 16 and 17. It shows all of the different types of formatting. It's basically like a formula and you plug it in and then the computer reads that formula and then it displays what you want it to display. So on uh, page 17 at the bottom, step one says control plus drag to select the ranges C5 to C12. So C5 to C12, E5 to E12, E5 to E12, and G5 to G12, G5 to G12. And right click any of the selections to go to the format cells. And then once we're in the format cells, let me move that up so it's easier for me to see. And then we're going to click the number tab. It's already collect, selected for us. Then we're going to click in the custom at the very bottom. You see the custom? Click on custom. And now it gives us all these different codes. Okay. And we're going to delete the word general right here. And we're going to actually type out a code. And it's listed there in your book at the top of page 18. It's 0.00%. .00 semicolon, space, and then magenta with brackets around it, M-A-G-E-N-T-A, -E close brackets, space, parentheses, 0.00%, close parentheses. So what you're telling it is it's going to be uh, black for a regular number, but if it is a negative number, it's going to be displayed in magenta and it's going to be displayed in parentheses like this. Okay, so we've displayed that or we entered that information in and now we're going to click OK. Nothing happens because we don't have anything in the negative right now. And then now we're going to format with comma style. So now we're going to move over here to page 19. So select the ranges B6 to B12. B6 to B12. D6 to D12. Use your control button again. D6 to D12. And F6 to F12. F6 to F12. And it wants us to use the comma style, which there's one already pre-built for us. So we just click on that and it makes it comma style. Nothing changes because we don't have anything with commas on it. Now select an empty cell to deselect the range. Turn the page. Now we're going to create a new cell style on page 20. This is great for when you're making your own custom spreadsheets and stuff and you want to create a cell style that's specific for what you want it to do. So we're going to click the cell styles button, drop down, and we're going to go to the new style at the very bottom here. Click new style and we're going to give it a name. We're going to call it four digit ear or dash digit that space year we're going to click on the format button we'll bring it over here so we have it beside each other make sure the number tab is selected we're going to go to the date category and in here we're going to find 14 March 2012 so I have to use the down button 14 March 2012 then we're going to click on the alignment Click on alignment. And we're going to click on center uh, horizontally. 
and then click on center to define the new style. So we just did that. Now in number five, it says click the font tab. So we'll go to the font and we're going to click the color and we're going to choose a different color. So we're going to turn the page to page 22 and we're going to click green, accent six, darker 50. So green accent six and darker 50. Darker 25, darker 50 to set the new color. Click OK to close it. And then we're going to click on the border to fill uh, the protection. Let's see here, green to, to click OK. Click border fill here. Okay. Uh, click fill and click protection locked. Um, and then click OK. All right, now we're going to apply a new style. So on step one, it says click select cell G3. Give me one minute. Select G3. And it's going to have us do a style. So we're going to go to our styles, cell styles. And we're going to select the four digit year style that we created right here. And it changed it for us. And now number of, uh, one says use a spells checker. So select cell B2, the review tab, and then click the spelling button under the review tab. And make sure that it's spelled correctly and click yes. And everything is good. So now we're going to click on save. And this is the end of part. This is the end of part two of the Consolidated Expenses uh, Excel Module 5 textbook project.